Hi all of you, National Board of Examination has introduced a new time bound pattern of examination for uh, the upcoming NEET PG and also to be introduced for FMGE and NEET SS exams of any competitive entrance exams conducted by the National Board of Examination. What is this time bound method of examination? And just let me brief you about it. For example, if the NEET PG 2024 is going to be of 200 questions. So they could divide the entire 200 questions into 5 sessions. That means 40 questions per session. A, B, C, D and E. So each of these 5 sessions will have 40 questions. And these 40 questions you need to answer every session in 42 minutes. That is approximately 1 minute per question. So that you answer and you go automatically to the next session. So automatic session will start once you finish a particular session. A session if you finish then you go to the B and B you finish C it goes to D and E. So you can't come back. That means once you have written a question and answered a question that means you cannot come back to it. Of course, within the time bound of 42 minutes, you can mark a review and you can review and change it. But once you have completed the session, you cannot come back. So this theory is called, this method of examination is called hit and run theory. That means 30 seconds you read the question and within 30 seconds you answer and go to the next. So you don't have anything else. You know or you don't know. So this mechanism is to just whatever comes to your mind, Give it and go on with that. I mean, you cannot come back because the time is restricted. Because you need one minute to kind of answer a question. 30 seconds to understand what it is, what they are asking. And 30 seconds to give among the four options. So, advantage of this is you don't look back. And the disadvantage of this is you don't have the luxury of time within the stipulated examination hours to spend less time in easy questions and to spend more time in tough questions. And there is one advantage I can tell you that what option comes to you in your mind as a first option? Most probably the right answer. Always the right answer is the right answer. But in case you have a doubt between two options, most of the time it happens. At that time, what option that strikes you the first is always the right answer in most of the situations. That means if you take 100% in that, what could be the first impulse could be the right impulse and the right answer is, is more than 60 to 70%. So in that way, it is advantage, but it could make a little bit of stress in reorganizing oneself during the time of examination. I think the practice could uh, help you and make you uh, to do well in the actual exams. So I wish you all the best and all the success uh, for the upcoming NEET PG 2024, FMG exams and INISET exams uh, for all of you. Best wishes to all of you.